Hey everyone, Cassie Draws here and welcome to today's video. Today I wanted to do something a little different. If you've been on my channel before, you will know that the vast majority of my content is very tutorial based, very step by step walkthrough with my artwork. But however, today I wanted to do something a little bit more on the chatty experimental side. The more that I am on YouTube, First of all, I fall in love with it more and more each day. I absolutely love this platform. I love this community and I love the freedom that it allows me within my own artwork. So that's number one. But number two, I'm kind of learning who I am as a creator as well. And I don't necessarily want every single video that I put out into the world to be a step-by-step -step tutorial. I want to get to know you better. I want to learn about this community. I want to get to know you and chat. If you are a creator or artist yourself, I want to get to know you better. And so I thought, what better way to do that than have a video where we are just enjoying some artwork being made and we can chit chat in the comments and we can just discuss watercolor. Watercolor and I have had a very, very strained relationship over the years and even into my art career these last five years, my mediums of choice really are acrylic, pencil, and ink. Um, and even thinking to my schooling years as well in elementary school and high school, watercolor was always the medium that I chose last. It was the last on my list and to be honest, was more frustrating than enjoyable at all. <laughs> and so you may be wondering, well, Cassie, you like watercoloring right now, what's going on girl? And I wanted to challenge myself and post this video and create this artwork to kind of break through finally this mental block that I've been having for years. I always assumed that my style was not meant for watercolor. I always saw myself as a very layered, saturated, textured style of painter. And I think when I saw watercolor, I saw the opposite, very flowing, unpredictable, um, beautiful and elegant, of course, a little bit more on the translucent side, used as a wash. I never really understood the capabilities of watercolor, where it could take me and a new style that I could form. And so I always kind of just blocked myself from using it. And I'm very curious to see if you feel the exact same way. If you were an artist who struggles with watercolor, why is that? Do you feel as though, like me, your style is not meant for it? Is it the unpredictableness of it? I know I struggle with that a lot. Where you put down your paint is not always where it ends up. Blending and layering is a completely different beast. And so I'm very curious to see your thoughts on this as well. What is it about watercolor that you find very difficult? This is a series on YouTube that I potentially would really be interested in making and not necessarily from a teacher or creator standpoint. To be quite honest, I can't really teach a lot of watercolor other than my failures and my experiments, but that's kind of interesting and intriguing to me is to have a sort of learn along with me as I kind of navigate this medium as well. We can kind of learn it together. So Please feel free and let me know in the comments below maybe something that you're curious about with watercolors, something that we can tackle together uh, in our future videos, whether it be a full piece or practice. I'm just, I'm having so much fun with this and um, I'm kind of kicking myself that for years, for years, I have been, you know, denying myself this opportunity and this experience, but it's never too late to start. So if you're looking at your paints and you're thinking, you know, I mean, hopefully you're inspired if you're thinking, wow, like, I want to do this too. Like go get your watercolor paints. It is never too late to start and we can do it together. We can learn together, grow together, make failures and mistakes together. And in the words of Bob Ross, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. And we learn from each one of these experiences. So something that I like to add to my watercolor to make it a little bit more unique to me and my style is the addition of another medium. And my medium of choice is colored pencil. I actually found this technique by accident. Um, I remember I was doing a little study illustration just by myself way before YouTube. And the area that I was painting was way too small for my watercolor brush. At the time, I didn't really have a lot of materials available. I was just kind of using what I had. And 
the area was so small that I was definitely not confident that my wrist and my hand would be steady enough. So I went in with my colored pencils, filled in the area and went, wow, like that looks really, really nice up against the watercolor. And so from there, ever since then, I've been adding a little bit of texture, a little bit of a color pop with these colored pencils. And I really, really love the effect that it gives. I think it makes it unique and different and something, again, more mixed media. I'm usually very much so one medium, that's it. So it was definitely a challenge and a really nice refresher for both of the watercolor and the colored pencils. And now some artists will choose to use gouache over top. There are artists who will use a watercolor base and then come in with their acrylics after for a little bit more of your fine detail work. That is always an option as well. So keep that in mind. If you are wanting to tackle watercolor, but maybe aren't sure you want to dive fully straight into just this medium, keep that in mind that there are other things you can combine with the watercolor. You can see that I'm using like my acrylic pump markers to create more of an outline, definitely more illustrative in my opinion. And of course I'm using some jelly rollers for some metallic accents um, or the white jelly roller as well. If I don't feel like the acrylic pump marker will work, there are so many different things that you can add together to create a unique illustration and a new unique style to you. So keep that in mind. Definitely, definitely changed the game for me when I started implementing other techniques and other mediums to my paintings. So now that we're nearing the end of this little watercolor illustration, I do want to turn this over to our more experienced watercolorists in our community, or those who may have stumbled across this video and are here at this point in the video still. What is something that you have learned throughout your time watercoloring that maybe you haven't found online in a guide or a social media post or a tutorial, lesson, etc. What is something from your experimentation that has changed the way you watercolor? My entire goal with this channel and my art in general, aside from conservation of endangered animals, yes, my goal is to create resources for artists that they can ask me, they can ask a fellow community member, whether it be on the Discord, in the comments section, they can cycle through the comments and find tips and tricks along the way. So if you're feeling inclined and chatty and have something that you're like, yes, like this would definitely help other watercolorists who are maybe struggling to grow as a watercolorist or maybe haven't even gotten started, what is something that really changed the game for you? I'm very curious. Let me know. And again, I would love to experiment with a lot of your techniques or tips and tricks. And if you're interested in this becoming a series, I have about four or five more of these watercolor studies to do uh, for those store orders. So we can make this into a series. If you're interested, let me know. And if you're feeling excited and optimistic about watercolor, let me know too. Thank you guys again so much for watching. We are nearing the end. I'm, I'm really happy with this piece. I think it turned out quite well. And I hope you enjoyed the format of today's video as well. Something different, a little bit more relaxed and definitely more chatty than normal. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. All right, and there you have it. There is the finished piece I have titled Ultramarine. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment as it helps our YouTube channel grow. And of course, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I upload next. Also, don't forget we do have our Ko-fi available as well where I offer art lessons for $5 Canadian a month, where every month I offer a full in-depth tutorial of one of my latest paintings, step-by-step, color choices and brush choices included as well. Thank you guys so much and I will see you in the next video.